Hey, good morning, Imagine Kids. Thank you so much for joining me for our online kid service. We are in week three of our July Make Waves series. Today, our preschoolers are learning that Jesus can help me choose faithfulness. I'm excited to learn this story from the Bible with you. Let's say our memory verse together. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Now say it with me really loud. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6. Jesus is helping me I can do the things that he does I can love like Jesus I believe his light can shine through me I can do the things that he does I can love like Jesus I wanna be a good, good friend Now I want to do something special to say thank you. I know! 
My friends have all these fun painted rocks. I'll make a new one for them. Hmm. What could I paint on the rock that's fun, bright, and lights up? A candle! I'll paint a bright candle on the rock. Hello, Luca. Ho, ho. Found your treat in the clubhouse, did you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Yeah, I sure did. And I painted a rock for my new friends. It has a candle because they brightened my day. Showing light is great. It's true. Light reminds us of God's goodness, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho. Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Well, hello there. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Any guesses what I have today? Ta da! <laughs> Do you know what these are? <gasps> yes, these are birthday cupcakes. And this one right in the middle has a candle. <laughs> this candle reminds me of today's story. If you're ready for the story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus talking to a huge group of people. Jesus told them he wanted them to go out and show God's goodness to everyone. Jesus really wanted them to understand what this meant. So he told them about a light. Do you know what this is? A light bulb. <laughs> That's right. And what does a light bulb do? It shines. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Jesus said that when we choose to show God's goodness to others, it's like we are shining a light. That shows everyone God is good! <laughs> we show others God is good when we choose goodness by helping or sharing or saying kind words. But when we're mean or don't share or don't help, Jesus said it's like we're covering up our light. Wait! Where did the light go? It's covered up. Everyone say, don't cover it up. Don't cover it up. Jesus said, let your light shine. Yes. Can you hold your finger up like a shining light? Great job. Now say, let my light shine. Let my light shine. Put your other hand over your light and cover it up. Does Jesus want us to cover up our light? No! Let my light shine! Let my light shine! Good job, friends! Put your hands down! Jesus wants us to be like a shining light that shows everyone that God is good. And Jesus will help us show God's goodness to others. Jesus could help us do everything! <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God's goodness is like a bright light, and we can show it everywhere. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, we can show God's goodness just like a bright light. Jesus can help me choose to show God's goodness and goodness can change the world. 
I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. My new friends showed God's goodness and brightened up my day. I'm going to leave this rock right here with the others so we can remember to shine bright and show God's goodness to everyone. See you next time. Hey, kindergarten through fifth grade, we are going to jump right in to your week two of Make Waves. Remember, Make Waves is what you do today can change the world around you. We are going to learn to show God's goodness to others today. Let's say our memory verse together. God began a good work in you, and I am sure that he will carry it on until it is completed. That will be on the day Christ Jesus returns. Philippians 1, 6. Let's say it together. God began a good work in you, and I am sure that he will carry it on until it is completed. That will be on the day Christ Jesus returns. Philippians 1, 6. You're my calm in the chaos, my peace in the war. You speak light into darkness You tell me I'm yours Only you, Jesus, are in control You are my every heartbeat, every breath that I breathe You're all I need, you're all I need You speak life, sing your love over me
Ahoy, friends! I'm Haley, and all summer long we've been talking about what it means to make waves. Because what you do today can change the world around you. You can make waves when you're in water, of course, but you can also make waves on land by showing things like kindness, self-control, and goodness. If you're ever out on a boat, you see lots of waves. <laughs> Wind and waves make the boat move. You see that? By the way, how do you like my model coastline that I put together? I just had to share it. Look, it's got cows and hills and even a little lighthouse. Now, the lighthouse is key because if there's ever a storm and it's really dark out, the lighthouse helps people see where the coast is. It can actually save lives. Like, without a lighthouse, the boat could be in the middle of a terrible storm. Oh no, we're in the middle of a terrible storm. I can't see anything. But with a lighthouse, oh no, we're in a bad storm. Wait, what is that? A light in the darkness. We're saved. In today's story, you'll hear what Jesus said about how we can shine a light to help people in the world. There are lots of boats out there that need us. Help me. See? See you soon. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. Hey, have you ever heard the phrase, dark as night? When we talk about darkness, we usually just mean dim white. At nighttime, there's a nightlight by your bed, a hall light on somewhere, maybe a light over the kitchen sink when you get a drink. If you step outside at night, there's a porch light. Street lights probably mark the way through your neighborhood. And if you live in or near a city, the sky itself glows at night. Even if the power goes out, there's always a flashlight or phone light handy. But now, I want you to think about a time before electricity. The time when Jesus walked the earth. The sun is slowly setting. It dips closer and closer to the horizon. And then suddenly, it's dark really dark, <sighs> deep pitch black. So dark, you can't even see your own fingers wiggling in front of your face. There's no light switch to flip. But if you're prepared, you can light a lamp. Whoa, that's better. Oh, in Jesus's time, many homes had small lamps like these that burned oil drawn up through the wick. Now, you can't get much done around the house holding an open flame in one hand. So in the main room of these houses, you would find a lampstand. Now the whole room is lit up, not just for you, but for everyone else. Imagine in the same way you have several houses. A town, each home lighting a lamp one by one. Soon, that whole city glows with light. And if that city is high up on a hill, it becomes a bright beacon of light for travelers caught out in the dark night. Immediately, they can see a safe place and set their course in the right direction. Okay, now, with all that in mind, listen to what Jesus told a group of his followers as he sat up on a hillside. You are the light of the world. Think about that. In a very, very dark world, you are like a lamp that allows others to see. Just like the moon reflects the sun, you can shine Jesus' goodness and light to brighten the world around you. You shine light with acts of kindness and compassion. You shine light when you choose joy in tough situations. You shine light when you make peace while others are taking sides. Jesus went on to say, A town built on a hill can't be hidden. Also, people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father, is in heaven. 
Now you may be wondering just how far your small light can shine, but thankfully, none of us is called to spread light on our own. Each of us is designed to reflect a specific part of who God is. When we reflect God's light through acts of goodness, our small point of light joins up with light reflected by other Jesus followers in our neighborhoods, towns, cities, countries, all across the world. So whenever the world seems dark, remember what Jesus has already said is true about you. You are the light of the world. And with the power of God's Spirit, you can spread the light of God's goodness anywhere you are and anywhere you go. Jesus told us how you can shine a light to people in the world. Actually, Jesus said you are that light. But what does that mean exactly? How can you be a light? Well, when someone's in the dark, a light shows them the way, right? So when you follow Jesus and live the way he wants you to live, you're setting an example for other people. You're showing them a way to live. You're a light. Now, if you're really a light to the world, you wouldn't want to keep that hidden, would you? Of course not. You'd want to share it. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. When you're kind to a friend in need, you're a light. When you show respect to a teacher or someone in charge, you're a light. When you honor your parents, you're a light. When you do good things, you're a light. That's what we call goodness. But check this out. You should do good not to make yourself look good, but to show people that God is good. And a lot of people in the world need to know God. Oh, me! You can show them the way. You can be their lighthouse. The one thing to remember today is this. Show God's goodness to others. Don't hide your light. Let it shine. You won't be able to do this alone. The Holy Spirit inside you can help you show goodness. It's totally worth sharing. Like this model coastline. You can't keep good things like this to yourself. <laughs> Ooh, I think the trees need a little rain. Happy little trees. <laughs> See you next time. Thank you so very much for joining me for our online kids service. I'm so glad that we can learn through about Jesus through Bible stories together in this way. Remember, as always, there are parent resources on our website that you can check out and use throughout the week to continue learning. Hope to see you here again next week. My peace in the world You speak light into darkness You tell me I'm yours Only you, Jesus, are